Hey guys, Kyle again with Gnarly Knives. Sorry, the video cut off, ran out of storage on the phone. Um, just made a little bit of room, so this will end up being a two-part, but, eh, what are you going to do? I'm still learning. I have much to learn when it comes to this technology stuff, well, this internet stuff, but whatever, not the point. Anyway, so, like I was saying, what I want to do this weekend, I have this old, old axe, um, well, I guess not super, super old, it's probably from the 80s, uh, but was my father's, and this is a master mechanic, so from the research I gathered from it, it's basically just your garden variety, you know, axe you buy at any uh, Home Depot, Lowe's kind of thing, but it's more the sentimental um, this, what my intention for this, honestly, is I really just want a good axe I can use for splitting. I mean, this isn't, you know, a splitting axe, if you will. Um, you know, when you think of, like, the Swedish ones, and they have, you know, the funky protrusions out, like, partway on, like, the center of the blade to help throw the wood and everything. But this thing is a pretty gnarly wedge. And I will actually be able to compare it in a moment um, with a different axe head that I, is a future axe project I want to make a handle for. But the head on this is nice and solid. It actually really hasn't moved around at all. I mean, obviously time will tell with usage. Um, the handle is in, I would say, fair shape. There are no splits in it. You know, I, I've really looked it over. There aren't any cracks or anything. Um, but you can tell there are a couple of spots. You might be able to see a little bit. There's a section here where it broke out. But it's below where, so it doesn't, it didn't break off like inside where the head is um, and there's also one down in the handle this one obviously not as big of a deal so one thing I'm gonna try and do is try and smooth this out a bit you know maybe thin it out a bit uh, just to kind of remove that just to not encourage future cracks or tear out or anything like that um, definitely gonna do a good thinning or a good sanding on this handle because it does have well, a lot of weathering on it uh, but it still has that varnish on it, and I definitely want to take that off and give this a nice, just recondition this wood, give it a nice boiled windseed oil coating, just like with the other one. Uh, one thing that will make it interesting, if it ever comes a time, if the head does get loose, and I have to just say, screw it, and either take, just cut the head off, or try and take the head off and reuse the handle, because there is a good amount, you know, the shoulder, there's still a good amount left here that I could... Theoretically, if I didn't cut the head off, that I could reuse this handle. Um, but what makes it a little tricky, I think, is that this has a metal wedge in it. So that's going to be a little tricky there, I think. It'll be interesting to see how that comes out, should the time come, whenever it comes. Um, as the other thing I would have liked to do, too, because before I sanded it, you know, to see, you know, to check the condition of where the head and the or where the wood is coming out of the eye you know I noticed it didn't have the cross wedge so I just would have thrown a couple of those in just for a little extra insurance but I don't think that's gonna happen now um, I mean like I said we'll see how it holds up um, if that is the case and I take the wedge out you know I'll just make up a wooden one I still have um, from pieces I cut off of the handle the, for this one that I made the double bit you know, some thickish pieces, but thick enough I could actually make quite a few wedges. Um, but, like I said, I'm going to see how that holds up. But the thing is, I think it's going to be the most interesting is the rust removal to see how well I can get this off. Because normally what I would do if, say, the head was loose or I just said, screw it, I want to make either a new handle or drive the head further down on the handle, um, is, you know, I would sand it, get all the big stuff off, and then just let it soak in vinegar for a couple days. But... It's going to be interesting to see now. I think now it's going to be mostly just doing sanding and some elbow grease. You know, see how that holds up. I, just, I don't want to dunk it in vinegar with the wood and have the wood soak it up. Um, but I'm excited. I, I think this will turn out pretty nice. And, you know, we will see how it is, how well it holds up after I finish it. But, you know, because even, even the bit actually really... You know, I mean, seeing a couple little teeny, teeny little nicks or whatever, but with just a light filing, we'll definitely take those out. And I don't need this thing to, I, I'm, this is not what I'd be using for chopping trees down. This is what I'd be using more for wood splitting. 
So saying the comparison, uh, granted the head on this is larger, but so you can see just that nice, you know, there's really no taper. It's just straight wedge. But then this plum axe, which is an axe I do want to make a handle for. Kind of try and get the good. But you can see it does taper. It goes in like this is made a little more for chopping. Granted, this is a smaller head. This is a, I, I, I want to weigh it. I just need to find something I can weigh it on. But when I bought it, it said it was about two and a quarter pounds. This one, if I had to guess, this is probably at least a three pound head. Um, but it really hasn't, I'd say the most abuse that this has really had, other than, of course, you know, there's the bit on the handle that came out in the two spots, but it just, it's just sat, not necessarily like outside, outside, but one of those little like plastic garden sheds. And I, I don't know, prior to where I'm living now, I've lived there about 20 years, uh, where I'm at right now. And this has been in that little garden shed for the last 20 years, so. You know, but the bottom was all full of water. Um, so I pulled this out, and there's a little hatch that I've shown in a previous video. But, I don't know, I'm curious. I'll see how well this does, and I'll definitely let you guys know. I mean, I will take you guys along this weekend um, to show you the stuff I'm doing on it. You know, if anybody finds an old axe that they want to maybe put a little work into. You know, and I think that's what's great about this. You know, I mean, all right, yeah, I got this one for free. It was, you know, my father he doesn't use it anymore, but... You know, I mean, if you go to old, or if you go to, you know, different you know, state sales, flea markets, yard sales, whatever, you know, you can find stuff like this. I mean, something like this, you probably pick up for like 15 bucks, you know, and it's, oh right, yeah, I mean, it's not a, a super high-end axe, but it, at the very least, I mean, this is definitely older than I am. I mean, it's over 30 years old. I know this is the original handle. It still has the paper on it, and you can still, you can barely make out some of the words on it, but... Yeah, I mean, it's held up so well this far, especially being, you know, more or less outside for probably its whole life. Um, and, you know, as I said, I mean, time will tell. I mean, I could take the first swing with it and everything, you know, the handle snaps or the head comes loose or whatever. And in that case, yeah, we're making a new handle for it. But, you know, if it's something that maybe, like, some people haven't done anything like this before, you know, maybe might be able to get a little bit out of it. Um, if you want to watch something before then... You can check out some of my other videos on axes. It's kind of turning into almost like an axe channel. I should maybe call it Gnarly Knives and Axes, Gear and Outdoors. But, I don't know, axes, gear. I guess knives are gear, too. You can just call it Gnarly Gear and Outdoors. But I just love knives so much. Yeah, I'm going to just leave it how it is. But, please, if you are interested, or if you just want just something to watch or whatever, like having a cup of coffee or whatever on sunday because i think that's what i'm gonna make it so probably sunday afternoon sunday night and expect the video but it'll be cool though you know i'll definitely figure out let you guys know what i come up with i think it's just gonna turn into just sanding just to, i'll just take it down you know as much as i can just cl well, clean it up as much as i can you know if i can get most of the rust off it and then there's paint too i can kind of tell that this was originally black it's not some of the paper but this all here you can just see is the black paint that mostly rubbed and just rusted off but you know so that's basically the plan well and i'm not put, definitely gonna put some work in here because that looks pretty gnarly i mean the wood kind of looks like it might be a little rotted i might just end up i don't know i'm definitely gonna do the video we'll see how it holds up i mean that's really the biggest thing is that's really what the biggest thing is going to come down to how well it holds up and then we'll make a decision then but that's basically it i think i mean you know we're going to take this the oh my god take the rust off we're going to put a good edge on this sand this down kind of clean up the little checked areas throw some linseed oil on it and then too of course oh, it's just going on the list i have so many things i have to make from leather i need to get a lot more leather i have more leather projects i don't have the leather for <sighs> oh well anyway you guys thank you for watching thank you for hanging out with me here i hope you guys got a little bit out of it if not the very least a little bit of entertainment just kind of passing the time on this life of ours but you guys have a great night remember to keep carving stay sharp and don't forget please like comment share subscribe need to get this stuff out there folks please 
Thank you, guys. I love you all. Have a good evening. Keep carving and stay sharp. Peace.